Today for directed drawing, we are going to draw a lion for St. Mark. This will be my very last directed drawing with you, and I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope this makes you feel that you can be an artist too. So this is our lion, and what you're going to need is your paper, pencil, and whatever coloring tools you will be needing for today. So let's begin. We're going to first draw our lion's face. Okay. So when we make our face, we're going to just make a big U, just like this. And then to complete the face, you're going to go from the top of your U and just draw a line from the left to the right side, just like that. Okay, so for the mane, what we're going to do is you're going to draw, you're going to go above the head and then start up here, just like that. And you're going to go from the this point to the left just draw a little line and you're going to go down and go back up you're kind of making a v and you're going to go all the way around the lion's head make a v and if it's easier you could turn your paper around as you go okay Just like that, okay? And for the ears, all you're gonna do is you're gonna draw an upside down U on the top of, their, of its head, just like this. There's one, and then one, another one here. And don't forget the inner part of the ear. So you're just gonna make smaller ones on the inside. Now for the face for the line, you're gonna start with his nose and it's gonna be an oval. And you could fill that in later. And we're just gonna make two little circles for the eyes. Now you're welcome to do cutie eyes. I know some of you like to do that. I'm gonna flip this over. Remember for the cutie eyes, I'm just gonna make the face, okay? There's the nose. And then for the cutie eyes, you just do two circles. And then you draw a little mini circle on the bottom and a little tiny one on the top. And you do the same thing on the other eye, and then when you fill it in, you only fill in the areas that are not the little minis to two mini circles. Leave the two mini circles in the inside, white. Okay, just like that. And it would look like this. Okay, so there you go. That's what the cutie eye would look like if you did it that way. I'm gonna go back to my other drawing. So now from the bottom of the nose, we're gonna draw a straight line just like this and you're gonna do a little, for the mouth, you're gonna make a hook on each side. So it's like you're making a J. And you can do another one the, op the opposite this way. Then I'm gonna add a couple dots for whiskers on both sides. And from those dots, you're gonna just draw little lines for the whiskers, just like that. Now for the rest of the, the mane, all you're gonna do is just add more detail. You're just gonna add some lines, kind of like a sun. Just draw lines. Okay. Now, my lion is laying down, okay? So all you're really gonna see are the paws, the two front legs and the paws. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just draw two lines just like this underneath the head. And then you're gonna draw one in the middle, just like that. And then from, from the bottom of these lines, you're gonna make ovals. And then add little lines for the paws. Just making it very simple. Now, the way the lion is laying down is you're, you don't see the whole body because this is just the front part. So we're just gonna draw add a tail. So just gonna curve up. And to make it thicker, you're gonna follow that same curve, just like that. And add a little drop, looks like a little teardrop, raindrop, and add detail to there for the tail. Okay, 
Now I like my lines sitting on top of a rock because that's what lines usually do. They like to sit on top of rocks or you could add grass, but I'm just gonna make mine like a big rock. So all you do is you're just gonna add some lines to make it look like different parts of a stone. And you could add more detail later as you color it in. Okay. And yes, some, sometimes you go want to draw the sun, you could draw the sun, clouds, whatever you want to do as far as your background. So we're going to add the color now. I want to show you how to do some of the color. I'm going to use the pink and I'm going to just add a little bit of pink right here for the cheeks where you put the whiskers. Do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and color the inside of the ear just like that. As far as the mane, of my lion, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my orange and yellow and brown, okay? So for this part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way around my lion and I'm gonna draw lines and I'm gonna show you what that's gonna look like. Okay, so I'm gonna use my orange first and I'm just going to, the, the line that I first did inside I'm gonna just outline it, go over it with my orange. Just like that, go all the way around. And if you really want it to look like hair, you're gonna do yellow, okay? And you're just gonna keep going all the way around until the whole entire main is filled in like changing colors you see how i'm rotating the paper sometimes it makes it easier and here's my brown i'm going to go on both sides and i'm just going all the way around so it's like you're filling it in with lines okay so when that's all filled in then you, you can go back with your orange and just fill in the rest and then eventually this whole area will be colored in. Now for the inside of the line, I'm gonna use my lighter brown. If you don't have any, you could use your dark brown and just color lightly. And I'm gonna just fill in the inside of his face. And then I would fill in the inside of the ear and even parts of the mane too, to make it look fuller. You can do the tail and the body. Okay, so that's gonna be filled out with your black Crayon, um, crayon or colored pencil, whatever tool you're using. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna color the nose. Don't forget the nose. Okay, and finally for the stone, excuse me, you are just going to shade that in. And to add more detail, what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of gray in my for the stone okay and you're gonna fill out the whole thing I'm gonna bring back my other drawing my finished one to show you do you remember what we were doing with the main so eventually it'll look like this you walk work all the way around okay and then we color the rest of the, the, the legs the face and the ears and then the tail and that's pretty much it there you go, there's your St. Mark Lion. I hope you like that, and I hope you have a great day. Keep on drawing.